Mm. What's up, everybody? It's a ho, 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 Merry Christmas in my house. I kid you not, it must not have been more than three, four business days ago. I made a purchase uh, from one of my favorite handful of companies, Vista Vapor. I'm trying to get these all around so you can see the label. Must not have been three or four uh, business days ago that I ordered these and got them in the mail yesterday. And I was like, ho, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Yeah, seriously. So today we're going to do a review of an e-liquid called Watermelon, the flavor Watermelon. It's got Max VG, and for my particular use, I've got 9 milligram by volume nicotine. But by all means, don't let the nicotine uh, get in your way. You can purchase this without nicotine if you do not want nicotine. Uh, I smoked and used tobacco for over 20 years. I've been five and a half years off tobacco. I went from one end at the higher levels of nicotine all the way to no nicotine, and then I then I found that I learned my biology. So there's certain t parts of the day where I'll use uh, some nicotine, uh, sometimes none, sometimes just a little more. Nine nine is about the highest I want to go anymore, um, but it does have some positive effects like controlling the appetite and none of the carcinogens of the tobacco. So. You smokers out there, listen to that, because I did. All right, cool. Anyway, Watermelon by Vista Vapor. It's got Max VG, and for my particular use, once more, 9 milligram nicotine by volume. Pardon me, okay? Dr. Pepper. All right. Um, real quick, if you've not shopped at Vista Vapor before, these guys are one of my handful of staple companies where I buy any of my materials uh, from. Uh, these guys are great. They have a wonderful selection of premium juices. They also have some of my standards. I love, I'm, I'm a purist, uh, so for me, I don't need to spend a whole lot. I like watermelon. I like the basic fruit flavors like peach, watermelon, orange, and etc. Not the candy, just the fruit flavor. Likewise, um, uh, I also like drink flavors. Sorry, my brain just went. <laughs> um, I like, you know, the, the basic drink flavors like cola, Dr. Pepper, uh, all that kind of stuff. Not the mocha latte stuff. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm old school and I'm a purist. So without further ado, why don't we go ahead and dig into the watermelon See if you can get it up there now. Yeah. By the way, I don't know if I said this, but you can see all the magnets I got there from Mist of Vapor. And I've got more. Just couldn't fit them all up there. Uh, so today, we're going to use the Subbox, the Kanger Tech Subbox Mini. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, tank filled up. I, I did go ahead and I kind of primed the coil a little bit. So that we would be a little further along, saving some time. I know you guys just want to kind of get in, see the review, and get out without all the fluff. So I'm working hard to do that. Hmm. There we go. Get up that a little bit higher. I love it. I love it. Also, you can you can get different options. You don't have to get uh, Max VG. You can get different mixes with your propylene glycol with your vegetable glycerin. I just happen to like VG for me personally. Um, it has a little bit to do with food allergies. Um, so VG is kind of a cool way to go for me. All right, so I'm putting the tank back on the Kanger Tech Subbox Mini. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I go to a new flavor, which is why I buy 30 mil up in bottles, uh, I tend to change the coil wick every time. Uh, simply, even on my rebuildables, I'll pull the wicks out and put new ones in, clean it off. The reason for that is I don't want any cross-contamination on taste. Um, 
you know, if you're okay with that and you know you're using clean vape juice and all that, uh, and it's maybe the same consistency as far as BG and stuff, so it doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't uh, fizzle out your, your coil, then cool. I just happen to be one of them guys, which is why I stay with one flavor into one, uh, into one vape hardware at a time. Uh, that way I don't have to burn out those, those coils and wicks. It's my own little OCD tip. So, okay, what I'm doing now is I'm taking a few suctions to draw some of that e-juice down in there so that we don't have any of those yucky, dry, fire, burnt taste and yeah, that. I'm not hitting the fire button yet, but I can already taste that. Oh, that's something. Let me go ahead and recap this because I tend to be accident prone a lot. There we go. Is that a better? Can you see that? All right. Cool. Shall we? And I generally don't take full lung hits, by the way, so if you don't see me bur bursting out full on cloud, I usually like to roll around the first couple of times, and I bring it maybe to the back of the neck right there, and then I kind of let it go. Uh, for those of you that are nicotine users, you, you will absorb it up in here. You don't really need to take it down to your lungs. You can if you want to, uh, but you don't have to. Uh, I also like to take it right there too because one of the things after working in a kitchen so long is I pride myself on my palate and I'm looking, I'm wanting to taste the consistency of the oil. Does it, you have you ever tried an oil that like after 20, 30 seconds it all of a sudden becomes something nasty or something? So, you know, it's like uh, for those of you, I drink diet cola and I'm so diet beverages, but if you've ever been one of those people that you have been drinking regular and all of a sudden you switch to diet and you get that after kind of taste. Yeah, so I'm looking for all of that. Um, the other thing I want to do real quick here is smell because if you're not in a store where they have samples out that you can taste, then the first two things that you'll be purchasing with is going to be packaging in other words, branding, and then the smell, and that smells that smells pretty delightful. I mean, it really does. And I'm a watermelon lover. I mean, I could eat watermelon all day, and sometimes I have. That is good. Okay, even that back end when you're exhaling through the nose is, is, is pretty delightful. Um, here's the deal. You know what? Sometimes other companies, they tend to produce or over-sweeten. I like this because I can taste it, and it's definitely sweet, but it's got restraint on it. It's, it's taking you to that point of just... Yeah, watermelon, but not overly sweet. Just just getting you right to that edge and then restraint. And I can appreciate that. I really can. Um, no, no funny aftertaste yet, so let's try another. That's really good. It really is. Um... I, I would buy this over and over again, I, I kid you not. Uh, make sure, by the way, um, when you get these, just a few tips. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, if you, before you use, if you go to, um, if you go to uh, Vista Vapor's website, there will be a video, and you might get it in your email, and it will have proper steeping techniques. 
um, which is basically to wait uh, about a week or whatever, and then the taste and the um, uh, color will, you know, come to a full body situation for you. I like to do one more step, but this is my personal pet peeve from working into a kitchen for so long. Uh, when I get my bottles, or like when I'm making my DIYs, I like to put them in a warm water bath. What that does is to help to agitate everything a little bit and come together and make an even more rich full body e-juice. That's just me. That doesn't, I'm not saying anybody's right or wrong. I'm just saying my personal little tidbit right there. Um, yeah, go out and get this, guys. It's by Vista Vapor. It is watermelon. Hopefully I can get it in there. Watermelon. Yes, yes. And this is Max BG, uh, if I can get my arm straight. <laughs> and again, my personal nicotine preference at 9 milligrams by volume. You can purchase it without the nicotine, so don't let that stand in your way. And very affordable pricing, I mean very competitive, but the taste is awesome and you'll enjoy their customer service. So go out and get this. This is, this is a good hit. And uh, I think we're coming to that time, right? So, later.